Greetings. I hope you are loving the challenges that I am posing before you. Well, here comes another one from the point of view of sorting. Assume that this is a data which spans over six columns, which contains client name, hypothetical names, uh, the country in which they are based, city where their offices are located, and the office building address, and certain amount which may be under processing, which may be accepted, which may be rejected. Now, for any data migration purpose, if you want to change the sequence, sequence of the way the column has been placed, for example, you would want that remarks should be on the last column, you cut it and you say insert cut cells. Now, for a couple of columns, you can do that manually, but I've seen occasions where there are over 100 columns and they have to upload the data on a common server, maybe a government website for filing purposes, and they have to rearrange the sequence of the columns in a desired format. Now think about it, amongst the 100 columns, if you were to cut, insert, cut cells, insert, cut columns and do that repetitively every month, how tedious it could be and it would be time consuming. Why? Because you have to check the accuracy of the sequence. Well, here lies the solution. If you want to have the data, the column placed in a desired sequence, you just give a serial number on top of it. For example, I would want that the country should be first, next followed by client name, third by city, fourth by location, fifth will be amount, and thereafter sixth will be remarks. So just give the sequence, and primarily when you download the data from a certain ERP, they get exported in a certain sequence column every month consistently. So once you have given these sequence of numbers, you can also reuse these sequence of numbers next time, next month, with the same data download. Now, once you have done that, I'll show you a trick which you could have never imagined so far. I choose the data, entire stuff, including the row which contains the sequence number. I go to data, I go to sort. Most of us would have applied sorting at some point or the other, but nobody cared to click on this button called options. Right now, I'm going to click on button options and take a moment to read the various options underneath. It says, you want to make it case sensitive? No, not my objective right now. What I want is sort the data from left to right. Now, when I do that, immediately you notice the data as headers option goes away. And this time you have the option sort by which row. Of course, my row number four is the one which contains a serial number. So I say sort by row number four, smallest to largest. As I press OK, notice what is going to happen. Look, exactly. Exactly my point. The point is now it is following the same sequence which you had mentioned. Although I'll require some extra seconds to quickly format it. And there you go. The remarks is on the last column, amount the second last, and the first one being the country. So this is horizontal sorting. Ensure that once you've used it, if you're using the same file for a different levels of sorting, let's say vertical, you go back to sort and please change the option to sort top to bottom. Although you don't need to press OK because you don't need to sort this, I'm going to press cancel. So there you go. This was horizontal sorting. I hope you enjoyed it.